Hi, John here. In this video, I would like to go through like recent news, basically where USA will be banning like all passenger China flights or like to out China, out China, and basically if it will hurt your dropshipping business or not. First, I would like to thank you for watching my videos and if you are still not subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell button and also if you have some other ideas about future videos, definitely leave a comment below. What it means that basically USA wants to ban those like China flights and how it can like, like hurt you, you know? So, well basically, this is like only about passenger flights and if you are like dropshipping from China and you still didn't make that move, you know, to dropshipping from USA, then probably you already know that since like March, since this like old situation around, it's very like difficult, you know, to dropship fast. So when where everybody was before using ePacket, it was just like ultimate shipping option for dropshippers. Then basically now ePacket is like uh, one month and more. If you are already like shipping from USA and you're using like shipping, you know, for sea, you know, or you are just doing that bigger volume through that cargo plane, then you don't even need to care about this because for you, like nothing really changed. Basically, those uh, Chinese suppliers usually send everything through like three ways, right? So first way is through like sea and that means using ship. Problem is that this is like very, very cheap, but it's not for normal dropshippers because this is for people who already have some product, it's tested, they sell it in like higher volumes so they can plan their like stock or like some selling plan, you know, for a month ahead, you know, because when you're using ship and ship everything through sea, then basically till it will get to that usually like US warehouse, then it will take like from like four to six weeks. So you need, need to be like really prepared for it, you know, and it's not for these people who want to just like ship, you know, like uh, one order, you know, like 10 orders per day. This I would definitely use only if you have like big container and want to ship it to like some specific fulfillment center in country where you sell, in this case, like in USA. Well, second option is that most used, you know, from with like uh, normal types of dropshippers, not like high level dropshippers. And uh, that's basically that you are trying to always like buy on AliExpress, do just a couple orders, Problem is that uh, they use a lot those passenger flights that basically will, well, I don't even know like why it's like a problem, you know, because those passenger flights were already like non-existent and now it will basically just continue, you know. So, well, again, like that shipping will just like keep increasing the shipping cost because those passenger flights are still like off and will be off. So basically they will need to push more through that cargo plane and that's why it's like going up and it's very like, non like comfortable for people who basically do the dropshipping on like higher level and use those warehouses on dif in different countries. Well, and third option is that one where you use those cargo planes, right? So like I said in my previous videos, that's what I'm using mostly. So it's not like cheapest thing, but it's like very easy way how you can like very fast, you know, move like bigger containers basically around the world, you know, so you can basically get, you know, like in 10 days, your your, your stock in that US warehouse and start like making like hundreds of orders per day, you know? So I think this is like the best thing, you know? But again, if you are sending it through like big container, it makes sense. But when you are trying to push it like order by order, you know? And uh, well, then it's like very expensive, you know? It, I mean like the ship and that cargo plane really like works only for people who, who are sending like bigger volumes, you know, to like some one place. Otherwise, it would be probably like very expensive to do it like by single orders, you know. I think like people should not be using already like these fulfillment from China options, you know, for like months, you know. I think if you are like using it for since like, uh, I don't know, I, I saw that first problems where ePacket came already like in December, you know, or like in October where it started to take like almost a month, you know. So. If you still didn't like make that move, you know, on the like higher level and start fulfilling from those from those warehouses in countries where you sell, I think it's just like matter of time till we'll like get crashed, you know, because Facebook customer feedback score is like strict and str more strict every day, you know, so it will not be like easier, you know, like now is the easiest time, it will be just more hardcore, so that will destroy you probably. I don't think like chargebacks are like the biggest problem these days. I mean like it's hardcore, you know, when you have like a lot of chargebacks, 
but that Facebook is like more dangerous, you know, because sometimes people lose their like Stripe accounts because they are running fine, you know, they are like keeping the chargeback rate, you know, under that one percent. But then like Facebook shut down, shut down their accounts because of the low customer feedback score. They are constantly running in that Facebook circle of hell, you know, and they can't get out. And if you are in the Facebook circle of hell right now, definitely download my free ebook. It's uh, the Facebook Advent Survival Guide, you know, and it will take you out of the hell and help you restart a promotion, you know, so you can fight those chargebacks. Because that's like the biggest problem. I think that's why people like lose a lot, you know, because basically they have like some promotion that is running, you know, they are rolling a lot of sales, they are fighting those chargebacks and then Facebook like shut them down. They need to do like some hardcore restart and they, it takes time, you know, and then they are not able to like fight those chargebacks and it eats them. So yeah, I think that customer feedback score is right now the biggest threat to everybody, you know, and that's why you should not use that China fulfillment at all. You should always like make some great, you know, like relationship with your supplier and push that supplier to send all stock to USA. Or if your supplier doesn't want to send that stock to USA, then you need to go even on AliExpress, just like message everybody who looks like they have like stock in USA, you know, test them and then try to like talk with them about like giving you like bigger volume so you can like send more products every day, you know, and try to like build like relationship only with suppliers that actually use warehouses in USA and can s fulfill from those warehouses. Because like, to be honest, like fulfilling from USA is now like probably cheaper than fulfilling from China, you know, because that's like a hardcore. You can also like check my previous videos about like how to negotiate price with suppliers, you know, or how to, you know, build great relationship with your suppliers. So it will like help you to actually like make them to stock those products in the USA. Because I don't think like it's really like possible to run on like high level scale and uh, like keep everything stable, you know, and running if you are really like still using that super long China shipping. It's just like a suicide, you know, and I absolutely like telling like to everybody that just don't do it, you know, because I think that China shipping is just like over, you know, if they will not come with some like game changer. I think it's just like very dangerous and you will just like get burned. So if you already made a change, then you are fine and, and this news will not really like do anything, you know, to Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have some like more advanced question or even like question of suppliers, Facebook advertising, e-commerce, then definitely join my free Facebook mastermind group at Federation. And uh, there are like tons of people who spend millions of dollars every month on Facebook and making tons of money in e-commerce. So you will definitely like find some help there and you will also have like direct connection to me. So definitely join Federation, and I will see you in tomorrow video. So bye.